course, when I think of HST, I know that we here, um, we pride ourselves on a higher standard in both ministry and scholarship. And I know that uh, to be the truth. I mean, uh, but when we look at the real high standard of HST, uh, we're really thinking about the coffee. I mean, you've got people who are giving you coffee and bringing it from other countries and leaving it where the students drink the coffee over in the education building. And I know that this whole business about a higher standard in ministry, I mean, you're going to be uh, in front of teachers who are the height, who are at the height of their field. They have preached everywhere. They've done ministry for so long and they're giving this to us. And, you know, of course, you've got other teachers who are uh, theologians. They are big on scholarship. They are printing and producing hundreds of commentaries per year. And I know that's a high standard, but the real high standard, it's the coffee. I mean, you've got Matt Carter here, and he is actually buying coffee from another country, shipping it to his house, and he's cooking it, roasting it right there in his own oven, bringing it for all to enjoy. That is a higher standard. I think about also when I'm looking uh, at my time here at Harding, and I'm thinking about, you know, my ministry, how it's been taken to another level. We have these luncheons here and people will stand up and they'll talk at the luncheon and they'll say, you know, how uh, this class or uh, this this person here at the school that's taken my ministry to this new extreme, to this higher level. And what I'm really thinking about is the higher level of this barbecue they serve. I mean, these luncheons are full of barbecue. I mean, it's it's just barbecue as far as the eye can see. And so you got someone over here talking about how their ministry is being changed, how they are coming to know themselves better, how they are better ministers because they're better people, that the curriculum here and the people here, it's made them a better man, it's made them a better woman, so then they're a better minister. And of course that's true, that's, that's all good, but I'm really thinking, what about this pulled pork, okay? That's making me a better minister. So when I think about Harding School of Theology, I think about the highest standard in both ministry and scholarship. I think about how it's taken even my ministry to new heights and to new extremes I would have not even been able to guess without being here and how any person can do those two things while eating barbecue and drinking coffee with some of the most caring, loving, and spiritual people. And so I hope that you consider HST.